Across the U.S., some restaurants bring a little something extra to the table in addition to just food. These are some of our favorites. Why would you eat there? Hollywood! To get there, we will drive through Hollywood! That's right, today we're headed to downtown Los Angeles to visit the Edison, a sophisticated gin joint that harkens back to a time when this famous sign was just advertising for real estate. Hollywood land. I would have called it Sex City. The Edison takes its cues from legendary West Coast night spots like the Ambassador Hotel's Coconut Grove and Ciro's. It's housed in the basement of a historic building downtown and serves up handcrafted cocktails with executive chef Russell Saito's sophisticated take on food. That is amazing. Mm -hmm. The restaurant's award-winning design features many of the architectural and mechanical elements of its past life. Thomas Higgins, a prospector turned copper baron, constructed the building in 1910. It was originally supposed to be eight floors, but they added two more so that it would be the tallest building in the city center. The birds can leave a laugh, said your puny building. <laughs> but the Higgins building housed the city's first private power plant, meaning while the rest of the city was dark, the Higgins building was lit up like a giant glittering jewel. Eventually, the 10-story building fell on hard times. Lying vacant and abandoned, it was named the ugliest, dirtiest building by the LA Times, which doesn't come with any kind of trophy. But this was before it was rediscovered by the current owners in 1995. The Edison, which is housed in the building's sub-basement, had up to 10 feet of gross old water in it, and when the owner looked at the space for the first time, he had to do so by rubber dinghy. How oh, so fancy! This is a watermark, Where's and it? you can see that there's different levels of watermarks because, you know, when, when it's raining, the water was higher, and when it dried up in the summer, the water was lower, so the table would go up. With the help of the new owners, the derelict landmark cleaned itself up, got its act together, stopped drinking so much, and now it's allowed to see its kids. The upstairs offices, which once housed the likes of the Temperance Society and the Roman Catholic Archdiocese, are now offices and condos. And in 2007, the Edison opened its doors in the sub-basement, bringing all of its old-time glory as a former power station to modern drinkers. What better way to celebrate some old high-voltage electrical equipment than to surround it with a bunch of classy drunks? Just kidding. Ron and I aren't classy. Sorry, I gotta admit, real fun place to get drunk, Barb. Real fun place. <laughs> It could be considered the patron saint of architectural reuse, as many different disparate elements, French drains, an old boiler room, and steam tunnels are all pulled together to generate a classic industrial vibe. Not steampunk, it's definitely a classic industrial vibe. Don't get confused. The Edison has a strict dress code. No t-shirts, no street shoes, no goggles or ballooning jodhapurs. Gentlemen must wear collared shirts and dress shoes, and nightly events may include sexy jazz and live burlesque dancers or aerialists. With over 7 million visitors in its short history, the Edison offers patrons a great drink, a great meal, and a window into the past. See you at the Edison. Thanks for checking out the taste inside of the video. We've explored the history of the Edison. Uh, we've seen some of the inside. It's really cool, but now let's check out some of the food on the Zagat side. I'm so fat. Ron. He's drooling. Ron. He's got drool. I'm so fat. We've literally made uh, like Ron foie gras. <laughs> <laughs> we've had so much food here. Uh, check that out. The link is, is around here somewhere. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks for joining us here on Tasted for a look at the history of the Edison. If you follow this link, it will take you over to Zagat where you can watch us try all of the food, all of the food. Uh, and while you're over there, subscribe to Zagat, subscribe to Tasted, and we will see you guys next week.